to my home, come on in. So this is it, my man's cave. This is my simulator and the rig is from SimLab, the steering wheel and the steering wheelbase, the 49 inch ultra wide monitor. I have a very good seat as well. It's, it's a perfect fit for, for what I need. Okay guys, enough talking now. Let me take you on board for a couple of laps with the BMW M8 GTE. Together with Nicky Katzburg, we did the BMW 120 at Le Mans. And we found out how competitive uh, those, those sim guys are. When Nicky was in the car, he did the last stint. I had to actually call one of our Le Mans engineers to ask him for help with the fuel calculation because we had no idea. So for sure next time when we come back, we will ask for a support engineer because on this level of competitiveness, you, you really need it. Well, in Formula E, simulator work really is crucial. Sim racing allows us to have a much wider uh, crowd of people participating. It's still quite small, but it's great to see it's getting bigger and bigger. So there are 100% uh, parallels between real driving and simulator driving. Using simulators plays an important role in our development process. Yeah, Formula E without simulators would be would be an even bigger challenge, you know. It's hard enough as it is. Okay guys, enough talking now. Sim racing means a lot to me because it's a good replacement for real motorsports. So what do you see from the outside is obviously the hardware, which creates an impression, but the focus for us is what's in, in the software, what's the modeling, because the highest focus is the immersion of the driver, so the driver feeling like in reality. Our simulator is on a very high level, and uh, it's, it's very representative of uh, what we do on the real track. The main part is really the energy management in the race because you can really prepare all different kind of scenarios that may happen. The most important point is that we can perform all the tests in an absolutely safe environment and um, what is also very important for our work is that we can reproduce all the scenarios um, many times so that we can do the tests for example 6 to 80 times with uh, a lot of different test persons and this enables us to get really valid statistical results. Uh, with, what is also really cool uh, on iRacing is that you cannot cut the track excessively. For example, if you go a little bit too wide, you immediately get an off track or a slow down even, so nobody can have an unfair advantage. Don't having to carry people to various racetracks, you don't have to wait for availability of a certain racetrack, and uh, even that beyond pure cost is already worthwhile uh, having a simulator. And uh, yeah, really look forward to uh, the virtual competition. So uh, yeah, looking forward to it. I am already racing in real life, and I'm trying to fulfill my dream to make it full time as a job. Developing those drivers forward, and maybe one or the other time we might see that one of those drivers going into the real car. It's not only good fun, but it also gives me the chance to gain race experience and race against uh, the best sim racers in the world.